Hi everyone, I'm doing something special today. I'm playing Inkbound. This is an early access indie game. It's actually an MMO. Um, but uh, I had seen this a couple months ago when I first uh, started the early access. And I gotta say, I keep on thinking about it. I was really uh, intrigued by it. So I'm gonna make a video of it playing it. This is the actual early access. So um, yeah, um, I imagine I'll probably have to create an account or something because it's uh, partially online, but you can play solo. So. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Uh, might do some clipping of the video, so if it jumps forward, uh, that's what that is. But we're going to make a good video, and we're going to see what this game is about, if it's worth it, and uh, where we go from here. So, let's go. Wake upon the shores of an inky expanse. The sea of ink. In the dark ahead of you, a speck blinks a light and pulses as you move deeper into the void. Now let's go check it out. The glowing mote of light blinks more brightly with your approach. As you reach to touch it, it inscribes strange glyphs into the air. Some unknown language. Hmm. Embrace the light? Yes, let's embrace the light. The light begins to surge, growing brighter and brighter until all you can see is light. And then, gone. A moment later, it blinks a light by your side, bound to you. Hmm, so now we're going somewhere else. So, I threw them into the sea and said, that's how you raise a child. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is the one, Nib. Fully voice acted. I like that. Then the poor soul is a needless. You know as well as I that they are unable to speak or to bind. But they've bound a new quill. Author knows they don't like those needless very much, so something has to be going on. That makes no sense. These stories have been fading long before more quills started showing up. Best leave the needless to fall right back into the sea where they came. By the way, this game is uh, book-themed, which is a little unusual, but... Um, you know, I used to work for a bookstore, so I love that theme and uh, looking forward to it. So, let's take a look at what they're saying so far. They're talking about my character, I think, and uh, what's going to happen to me. So, I'm trying to get resolved. Why don't we at least let them choose their aspect and forms first? It'd be a shame to not even see what they choose to be. All right, here we go. Character creation screen. A magma miner. Oh, these are the aspects on the left, so... Um, moss Cloak, Magma Miner, and a Weaver. Oh, that's kind of cool. I've always been fond of the uh, Taylor um, class. I think that's underrated. Uh, so this looks like a warrior of some kind. Uh, like a uh, volcanic-based warrior. Moss Cloak is a stealth, um, well, kind of like a stealth druid is the only way I can think to describe this. I've got Weaver and Artisan Power Spin Magical Threads. And I assume there will probably be more of these aspects at some point because there's a lot of space here, but this is what's here now. Um, let's see what these are. These are game controlled weaving. So this is a uh, this is still a uh, a damage uh, class. So Twenty damage. 
Okay, so that seems pretty intuitive. Oh, we've got some uh, character presets. We can see what we want to look like, so that's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> I kind of like this one. It's an eye. Uh, it's kind of like neutral. Neutral appearances. I like this uh, eye one, so I'm going to go with this. Oh, do I have to do something else? Oh, no, okay, I'm good. Alright, so we're gonna go into this ring here, this magical ring. Oh, we're already oh, ready for battle, okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright, following this. We're in some kind of ring now. I guess we'll be combating. Oh, here's the action bar down here now. Alright, combat. Combat and ink is turn based. Right now, it's your turn. The enemies are showing what they plan to do in their turn. I hope it's not too difficult, but, you know, we'll see. Okay, let's move to this glowing spot. Moving consumes a resource called will. I won't deplete until I use an ability. I have a limited amount of will to use each turn. Then unravel our turn to destroy this world. Move near this enemy to prepare an attack. Well, these are called bindings. Click on the first one to start aiming. All right. Oh, it's kind of like aim dirt. So we want to go after this one first. Highlights the enemy, and then we'll click the left mouse. And by the way, this is this does not have controller support at the moment. So, um, but that's not really that unusual for an MMO. So it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead again. Did we do it? Oh yeah, we did, okay. Great, when you're done with your turn, click the end turn button. End turn, I gotta remember to do that usually. Oh, then we attack during the turn, you'll need to watch your health to ensure you stay alive. Orbs of power, blue glowing orbs spawn at the start of your turn. You can collect then these to reduce binding cooldowns from start well. Okay, we want that. Definitely. Uh, so let's get a, go back to here. Well done. If you switch to defeat all enemies in combat. Complete the combat and counter. Alright, let's do that. I'm assuming I have to do this still. Alright, we did it. Victory. 250 skill points. Usually it says AP or HP or SP or XP. I just kind of guess what it says. Store 15 HP. You know what that one is. We're already at full health, so we are good. Let's talk to these. Um, I don't know what you would call them exactly. Spirit, you spirits nameless. or something. Looks like you're not dead yet. So that's a good sign. And the form you chose is wonderful. Thank you. Yes, you've bound a quill. Quite unusual. It seems the ink has plans for you. Oh, yes, it does. You've already performed bindings and everything. Quite the spectacle it was. Hmm, yes. A needless and a binder. Well, the guardian ahead will not be as kind. Should you defeat it, perhaps you and your quill truly are fated for something grander than the sea. Or not. Hmm. Let's face this last guardian here. I haven't really read what the, um, you know, skill level is required for this game. But, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, we need to go... Okay. 
your binding has gained the critical charge. Bindings have a chance equal to your crit chance to gain this charge indicated by the flame surrounding them. They will do bonus damage equal to your crit damage stat the next time they're used. Okay, well, let's try it out, I guess. I'm just gonna go after this big one. Just gonna go at him. Hmm. Oh, so that got activated and then I was able to do it or something. I don't know. Still not totally sure how that one works. Let's try it again. Can I do it like this? Let's try that. No. Oh, okay. Well, it worked. Okay. Speak once more with Niven. Well, it seems you're a binder of some strength. Though you will continue to find these anomalies spread throughout our worlds. They're taking all the ink away from us, making our stories fade away. Bad little unraveled, bad. For now, though, it's time you leave this place and venture to the Athenium, the center and stronghold for all these worlds. They don't like us much in there, so best if we say our goodbyes for now. But don't you worry, we'll see you soon. The ink is not yet finished with you, Needless. Your form is young and still without purpose. But trust in your quill and you may just find it. Crunch the Athenian. I wonder if this takes a second. Oh, we got. Yep, here it goes. Oh, I like those graphics. You appear inside a cavernous hall, packed with emptiness, but full of stories. A massive clock of books and gears looms above the expanse, tick, tick, ticking away. From the countless black depths, damp breezes moan to life and stir the pages strewn about the rubble. Your quill urges you deeper into the cavernous space. Hmm, there's somebody here. The gatekeeper. Arthur be damned. Another one. This guy's kind of like a book wizard. Okay, let's turn in our quest. Oh, you needless just trapes in here, still damp from the sea from which you crawled. I thought that surely the ink bound had created you with more sense than that. Yet you all continue to surprise me. Well. In the Athenium now, needless. And no binder worth their words is going to give you unfettered access to our stories without a proper approval. Hmm. A short dive into the inkwell should give us a good idea of you. And at the very least, knock a little sense into that empty head. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll try not to drown too quickly. Uh, so yeah, I'm. Hold on, I'm just gonna look around real quick. I don't wanna get lost, but I just wanna look around a little bit. I keep. Um, yeah, this reminds me of so much of a roguelike, which it is apparently, but it's. 
very uh, much more like that than some MMOs I've tried. But it's very nice. I like the way all of this looks. The source of the ticket. A giant wheel of books and gears which all paths lead to. The heart of the Athenian. Don't you touch that bindery, Needless, or your next dive into the inkwell will be your last. If even one book shifts out of place, the worlds to which you travel might collapse entirely. Not a heart, then. A brain. I was supposed to do this, though, wasn't I? Where's this time you go? Maybe... Oh, I'll probably have to go over here. Okay. What? Am I doing this right? Well, we'll find out. Here we go again. What does this remind me of? Hmm. Maybe a little bit... I, don't know, I try not to cross-reference other games in these, but... I kind of recognize this type of layout. I mean, it's very RPG-like, so... It's not really that unusual. Enter into a new world from the Sea of Ink. Let's talk to this guy. Let's just see what he's doing. Oh, this one's not narrated. Okay. Ha, another needless. Always a welcome sight to see another one of you running our worlds. You're the ones doing the hard work, after all. Oh, the inkbound is trying. I'm sure you, but you are the ones actually fighting those villains. nasty creatures. But you'll see that soon enough. Oh, and you can just call me the scribe. But honestly, it's best you keep our meaning between us. All right. I just want to see what this is. It just, it's just sitting here, so it seems like it's... Oh, just got some some loot. Hmm, okay, can I get it all? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. As you approach the sea of ink, your quill picks up the trails of stolen ink, tinged with the scent of the creatures that guard it. Your quill urges you to choose one of these trails. Follow it and reclaim the ink guarded by the foe waiting at the end. Shadow. Oh, this is a. Okay, so we choose one of these. Um, these are all quests. Oh, okay. So those are like uh, creatures. Okay, so this Shadow Runestone. Uh. Gonna do this middle one. Gotta visit the carver three times. I wonder what that means. Whoa. Does this cost? Or is this like a free. Okay. Quillings. What is that? Is that a currency? I can't remember. Hopefully it's not important. You never know when you play these games when, uh, you know, it's going to become important later on. Usually everything, but I'm used to getting it repeated. Uh, try this one. Seems kind of cool. All right. Oh, these are worlds you can go to. Huh. I guess it's a silent city, a garden's edge, or proving grounds. Hmm. I don't want to go to this. Really, I want to go to this garden's edge.
Oh, here we are. Cool. Okay, this is nice. Potions play. Got some potions. Hey, does somebody else to talk? And here. Underneath the brush, you can make out the remnants of a once well manicured garden that's been lost to time and neglect. The overgrown forest that towers over you now retains some of that stillness, but none of the peace, only danger and hostility. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I'm just wandering through an open world or if this is procedurally generated. I didn't see anything about procedural generation in the description, so I'm assuming this is uh, the real deal. Okay, beginning combat. Whoa, okay then. Let's. It's good. Man, I wish more MMOs are turn based, it makes it less stressful. Um, try this. So, huh. Oh, so we'll do that one, do that one, and oh, okay, I get it. So you gotta thread them first. So I can learn these things. Ending my turn. Okay. Who is the numbers? I can lie. Oh, you can move around, so that's good. I want to get this one down. Okay, this one. Hmm. I really gotta get this other one, but I don't have any more uh, potion, so. Just see what happens, I guess. Ooh, I am down. Ooh, yikes. Let's get that quickly. One more. Ooh, good. Survived. So, uh, get this first. Kind of weird. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this one's a it's like a permanent. Crit chance and damage buff, so I'll do that one. And since it's over here. Ooh, definitely need that. Here's our stats here. Mm. You know, I kind of like going with stats 
into the game later because a lot of RPGs want you to tell what their stats are beforehand and you you really can't even uh, predict it sometimes if you're a new player. So let's see what this is. Oh, a lot of rewards for this uh, combat here. Frost infused threads. On your turn. On your turn, inflict one stack of frostbite to enemies with a definitely want that one. All right. So here's another thing. Oh, this is a reward too. I really need some health, but, you know, it's fine. Seems better. Ooh, more combat? Hmm. You know, it's possible that I could do that. Well, let's just see what happens. You never know. Let's stop cop. So I only have 14 health, which makes me think, hmm, you know, maybe I uh, might not make it. Maybe I can go back though, huh? I'm just gonna see. I don't really wanna have to do that, but, oh, it looks like I might have to, so. I have 14 health, we'll see what happens. Maybe it's only one, I don't know. Mm -hmm. These ones have a lot of health. Uh, let's go after the caster first. Oh, that worked well. Okay, let's thread these other ones. I'm taking out the small ones first. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Let me just... No. Oh, they're multiplying, so, yep, looks like I'm gonna have to go after the main guy here. I got eight health. <laughs> ah, I'm not gonna make it. I didn't. So, what happened? Your journey ending in Garden's Edge. Oh, it's a roguelike. I don't know why I didn't think about that. It's a rogue. Like this is normal. It's not impossible to be. If you're thinking MMO, like you know, open world, it's probably not going to work that way because you need to upgrade your skills each time you play. And each time you start to play, you'll probably start off with a lower level boss and move on. Or so yeah, okay. Well, that makes sense. Let's take a look around here in this uh, interface here. So we've got quests. This says explore the worlds of the ink well as far as you can seems kind of difficult <laughs> um, 
So these are kind of like our uh, skill trees, sort of. Looks like you can add quite a bit though. Cool, that's a lot of features. Uh, milestones, so, you know, it does have some lore, but it seems like it's mostly combat based, but also art based because this is designed really nicely. Uh, this stuff's coming in a future update. Yeah, so, let's see where it takes us. You can, oh, you can also play a multiplayer if you want to, um, see that goes somewhere right now. You could play multiplayer if you want to have a better chance at some of these, uh, enemies. Uh, on the party screen or by pressing P. I'm not going to do it right now, but I might try this in a future video. Is that crazy? Yeah, I don't know. I need to, uh, oh, it wants to make me. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what, how it works exactly. Um, are there any parties right now? Probably not. I'll just look around a little bit more. I'm just about to end this video, but I wanna see what else is here. It's just like a massive library, basically. Oh, here's a person. Stigmatist. This is cool. And you can see how much you can customize the uh, costumes. Some people are just starting out, but others are getting real into it. Inkbound study. This is cool. It kind of reminds me of, like, um, Hades with a more, like, book theme. It's really cool. I like this. Hmm. Will it replace every other game? No, probably not, but you know, whatever, it's cool. Alright, well, yeah, I've shown you the beginning of this game. Hope you uh, like the video, gain something useful from it. I should probably say this at the beginning of the videos, but if you want to see more content like this, specifically content about this in this video, just go ahead and subscribe and like, and you'll get updated on new um, videos and community updates and uh, yeah I'm starting to make some more short videos too so doing some different stuff but yep yeah. uh, this is inkbound this is day pizza thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video